Sony say they'll be breaking good this year, so let's take a look at their CES 2014 stand and find out if that's true. It should come as no surprise to discover that 4K dominates and pride of place goes to Sony's new range of TVs. The unusual wedge shape is designed to allow for bigger speakers, which means that the new 4K TVs should have better audio. Thanks to the lower center of gravity, the feet can also be moved inwards to reduce the footprint. For those that use an outboard audio solution, there's also a version of the 4K TV with smaller hidden speakers. The new TVs come in a range of sizes, including an 85-inch monster that will be Sony's flagship for 2014. The picture definitely looks great, but we're not so sure about the feet. As with last year's models, the new lineup uses a triluminous panel and Reality Creation Pro upscaling. New this year is Extended Dynamic Range Pro, which uses a unique backlight algorithm to produce brighter peaks and deeper blacks. Sony's smart platform has also had a facelift and now includes their one-flick feature, which is designed to make navigation easier. For those of you who want some native 4K content to watch on their 4K TVs, there's the ubiquitous Netflix and YouTube. There's also a new 4K media player that can be used to download native 4K content from Sony's Video Unlimited service, although this is currently only available in the US. If you're more interested in higher resolution audio than higher resolution video, Sony has a number of new products on the show. Their high resolution audio Walkman will be launched in the UK in the spring and will retail for £500. While Sony will also be launching their SRS X9, which is a high resolution audio wireless speaker. Finally, any lineup wouldn't be complete without a new soundbar, and Sony's got their HTCT770, which is designed to fit under any TV with a height of only 5cm. So it would seem the TV speakers are getting bigger and the soundbars are getting smaller. That's it from the Sony stand. Join us for more CES news at avforums.com.